I'm always fascinated with uh, people's story about how they got into what they do. Um, what do you say to people who, who don't have that? They're like, man, I, I haven't always loved working with my hands or I, don't always, I haven't always had like this fascination with computers. Like, how do you find what you wanna do? I guess by trying and, and, and don't be afraid of it because you can start something and in a year or two realize that's not really you. But what you need to do is then look at something different see where you can get into that on a trial period and then do the stuff you normally do where you know you can make money with on the weekend. Or only start with three days starting something new that, you know, try it out for a couple of three months and see where we're going. But have the luxury of knowing the other two or three days a week you can make enough money to pay your bills. Yeah. And you're not stuck if you start don't liking it. It's like a relationship. Try to fix it. If it don't work, well, then you got to do something different. <laughs> right, right. You know, th that's such an important insight too because... I think it can be easy to like become scared of, of, of wasting your time. No, you have to have bad times to realize what the good times are. And you gotta have a bad day to know what a good day is. Otherwise you won't know the difference. And that's my way of looking at it. You have a bad day, there's a reason for it. So you realize tomorrow is a better day, but you can't realize it unless you have that bad day. Yeah. So you just gotta put that on the, hey, this is here for a reason and we do better tomorrow, fix it, let's go on. So if I don't know what I wanna do and I say, okay, I'm just gonna try my hand at this thing. I spend six months and I go, yeah. I hate this. That's not a waste. No, didn't yeah. you try something different? Yeah. I mean, but you shouldn't do that forever though. <laughs> right. You're never gonna get a career. <laughs> and, and I'm sure there are ways, in, in Europe, in Germany they do that. Yeah. Before you're even done with school, uh, during the summertime, I mean, you actually get paid some money for it. You go four or six weeks into uh, after they doing a, a test of your abilities, they say, you might be good in this field. You mm -hmm. actually go in every day like you work in there, like an apprentice, and learn the whole thing, the whole industry, whatever it is from A to Z. But that way, you had six weeks in different positions and go like, yeah, I might like that, or no, I don't. And yeah. next year, I'll do something different. So you have a much better way of starting out where you, you would have to fork the money out on your own. You would have to pay for it on your own. But it's silly to do something you don't enjoy. Yeah. And if you can't go and have fun at work, there's no reason to go there. 